What if I told you that creating a private AI solution connected to enterprise data could be as simple as writing hello world? It might sound like a dream, but with DataMind, it's a reality. DataMind is a groundbreaking generative AI system designed to intuitively connect you with answers across all your data, making complex queries and insights effortless and without compromising on privacy. Imagine being able to ask questions such as, over the past quarter, how many meetings and calls did it take for us to sign a contract and get a precise real-time answer? No more digging through multiple data sources or writing complex queries, DataMine handles it all. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the concept of Minds and then show you a demo on how to create your own mind and integrate it into your own application or AI agent. So let's get started. So first, what is a mind? A mind works similarly to LLMs, but they can also answer any question from your data. For example, it can select the best data for the answer using parametric search. Secondly, it can also understand the meaning and respond with context via semantic search. And it can deliver numerical answers by calculating the best answers from the data and machine learning models. Now, how does it work? Minds makes it easy for any developer to seamlessly incorporate generative AI features with enterprise data knowledge into their applications in three simple steps. First, you create a mind. Secondly, you plug in data sources. And third, you ask it questions from your application or agent using our OpenAI compatible API. Okay, now what about Minds deployment options and data privacy? You can run Minds in the Minds cloud with multi or single tenant privacy. In this demo, I will use this particular option because number one, it's easy to start with. Secondly, you can also deploy them in your virtual private cloud or on premise for a physically private infrastructure. If you're interested in this, feel free to contact us in the link below. Now, from the following demo I'm about to share with you, you will learn all the steps for creating your mind, generating your API key, connecting your data, and interacting with mind. Okay, so first, you want to ensure you have the latest OpenAI and MindZB SDKs installed. And if you haven't done that yet, just type the following into your terminal, which is pip install OpenAI and pip install MindZB SDK. Next, we're going to generate a MindsDB API key by heading over to mdb.ai. Now, if you don't have an account, you can create one for free. You'll have access to the API key here, which I will copy. Now that we have our API, let's dive into how the Assistance API can transform the way you actually interact with your data, unlocking insights quickly and efficiently, and all within a private cloud agnostic environment. Let's create our first Python file and I'll name this particular file datamine.py. Now I don't want to type all this code out in front of you. I'm just going to have all the code display here and explain to you block by block exactly what I'm doing just to make sure that this video is not longer than it should be. So first of all, we start by importing the necessary libraries. We use UUID to generate a unique identifier for our mine, ensuring that each mine we create has a distinct name. Then we import the OpenAI SDK and some helper functions from the MindsDB SDK. Next, we define two key variables, which is number one, your Minds API key and Minds name. The API key is what we'll use to authenticate with MindsDB and Minds name generates a unique name for our mind. Then we need to set up the connection to our data source, right? And here's how we do that. In this block, we're defining the configuration for our database using the database config class. This class requires several arguments, for example, a brief description of the data source, which we've labeled as customer support data, the type of database specified as Postgres, connection details such as a user, password, host, port, database, and schema, and finally, a list of tables to connect to, in this case, the CRM demo table. Now the table parameter is optional just to let you know. Within our database configuration setup, it's time to create the mind. Here we use the create mind function to set up our mind, providing it with unique name, the base URL for the MindCB API, and an API key for authentication and also a list of data source configurations that we set up earlier. Next, we point the open API SDK to MindCB Cloud. 
This sets up the OpenAI client, which we'll use to interact with our mind. We provide the API key and base URL to connect the client to MindsDB. For the cloud-hosted Minds, OpenAI is the default engine providing seamless integration. However, if you're deploying Minds privately, you can opt to use an open source-based LLM instead. This allows you to maintain full control over your AI infrastructure. Again, if you are interested in this, make sure to contact us in the link below. By the way, if you wanna take a look at this demo data set, I'll put a link to it in the description below. The goal of this demo data set is to simulate a real actual customer support environment where various issues reported by customers are logged. For example, you have ticket IDs, roles, timestamps, problems, and etc. So first let's run the Python script that we created in the terminal. And if everything is set up correctly, the script will create a new data mind and will be able to interact with it directly through the terminal. Now let's type the first question. All right, so which category has the highest number of unresolved tickets? And let's see how our mind answers this question. Hit enter. The category with the highest number of unresolved tickets is general with a total of 273 unresolved tickets. And that's so amazing because now, as you can tell, I'm literally interacting with my database, not in SQL, but in plain English. Okay, let's, let's ask another question, right? So what are the least common issues? Oh, I spelled that wrong too. So I spell, I typed what are the last common issues? I'm actually curious to see what it comes up with, with this typo. Oh, well, let's look at the answer. When I asked what are the last common issues, it took that as, as if I'm asking for the, the, the most recent issues, which is true, technically, according to the question I asked. Um, problem with the AC not cooling. Um, it even gives us the category and the date and timestamp, which is pretty cool. Now let's actually ask the proper question that I initially wanted to, to answer. So, but I think it's pretty cool to see how it came up with that, with that answer. So the question I wanna ask is, what are the least common issues? And here is the, the result from the assistant. The least common issues based on the number of occurrences are as follows. Problem with suspension problems, 40 occurrences. Problem with engine noise, 49 occurrences. Problem with transmission issues, et cetera, 50. And it goes all the way up to 70. Uh, to number six with 72 occurrences with the AC not cooling. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So what about the question, which major issues come up most often? All right, so we got the answer. So pretty much exactly what we got from the last question, what occurred the most often, which is a problem with the AC not cooling, right? So as you can see, we have the ability to now interact with our database in plain English, where you can ask pretty much any question and get the answer you're looking for. But what's interesting is that this demo barely scratches the surface of what data mine can do. Whether you're looking to enhance customer support, streamline operations, or simply gain deeper insights into your data, data mine makes it incredibly easy and intuitive. Imagine the possibilities when you can ask your data anything, anytime, and get accurate answers in real time as well. Now, what's next? Try out Minds for yourself. You can check out Minds at mindscloud.ai. And if you're interested in private deployment, again, please make sure to contact us. You'll find a form in the mindscloud.ai page. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all in the next one.